Mikey. Hey, Jerry. It's been a long time. Yeah, it sure has. How have you been? Oh, not too good, Jerry. Oh, that's too bad. Yeah, well, that's just the way it is. How's your mother? Not too good, Jerry. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Jerry, sorry I don't help any. How have you been? Still working. When are you going to retire? Ricky, I wish I could say tomorrow, but the way it looks, I'll be working until I'm 70. Well, at least you've got some fucking money, honey. Not enough, Ricky. Not enough. That's why I'm still working. How about you? You working? You know I don't work, Jerry. You used to do security, didn't you? Yeah, I did about 20 years ago, and then 9-11 changed that. How was that, Ricky? Remember I had that job uh, on the Upper East Side? I, I was a doorman. It was a decent job, but then I got that part playing brick and cat in a hot tin roof. That was a big off-off equity Broadway production. I had to take it, Jerry, and I just asked them for a little time off because the first couple of weeks they just wanted to rehearse morning, noon, and night. They wanted to give me the time off. I said, screw it. This is going to be a big hit. And it was. It was going good. But then the day before it went up, the Twin Towers came down. They canceled the play permanently. I go back to them, ask for the job. They say, nothing doing. I haven't worked since. How do you get by? Barely. My mom gets a little Social Security. I mean, you must be eligible for something. Nothing. Damn. Yeah, goddamn the pusher man, Jerry. You know, if I had re kept that job, I'd be getting a pension now. I'd be getting Social Security. How old is your mother, Ricky? How old is my mother? She just turned 80, Jerry. And you're 60? I just turned 63. Which means your mom had you 17. Acting. She had me at 17. Wow. How about your father? Jerry, who the hell knows? He left me when I was in the cradle, and I couldn't even say da-da. That's too bad. Yeah. That's too bad. How about your parents, Jerry? I lost my dad over 30 years ago, and I lost my mom close to 30 years ago. Well, that's all right, buddy. Don't worry about it. We all have to go sometime, some sooner than later. I won't be around much longer. Why do you say that, Ricky? Because I'm one of those sooner than laters. Would you like to help me in my misery for me, Jerry? How can I do that? Pick your poison. Shoot me. Murder me. Twist your fucking hands around my neck. Put my head in a bag and suffocate me. Anything that'll get your jollies out will get my jollies off. Hey, get an Uzi. Put it in... Load it and just shoot it into my fucking head. Come on, stop. You don't mean that. No, hey, look it. You see that bag down there? You could easily put that bag over my face and fucking suffocate me. So just do it. Look, look, aside from all that razzmatazz, there's something I have to tell you. I was contacted by your daughter. What? When? A couple of weeks ago. How? Well, she had gone to the Cable Access Neighborhood Network, and uh, they gave her my name as one of your contacts. And you told her where I lived? Well, yes, Ricky. I mean, of course, I felt obligated to. This is how she found me. Well, apparently she had gone to uh, your, where you live, and uh, your mom sent her away after hearing you scream for her to leave. You were screaming for her to leave and uh, and saying that she ruined your life. Biggest fucking mistake I ever made in my life. Twenty fucking five years ago on summer stock in Kentucky. Because of her, I don't have a driver's license. I don't have a visa. I don't have any money. I should have a house now. I should have a car. She sees other girls with their fathers, and she must be she must become emotionally crushed. I mean, she, she needs to be comforted. Don't you think? Are you telling me you want to fuck her? No! I mean, how could you possibly say something like that? No! Knowing you, Jerry, that means not yet. No. Uh, have uh, you introduced her to any of your fetishes yet? Is she staying with you? Huh? She has no money, Ricky. Of course she's staying with me. What about your fetishes, Johnny, Johnny? What do you mean? <laughs> what, do you, what, what do you mean? <laughs> yeah, you remember the time you said you wanted to get that girl in your bathtub? 
and cover her with chocolate pudding and then lick it all off of her from her head to her feet, sticky sweet. Remember you said that? Or did, did I say that? <laughs> did I say that? Yes, you did. I I don't remember saying that actually. I mean, I I I really don't look 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 uh, look uh, look. Okay, I'm not here to talk to you about this. I want to know if you want to see your daughter and take care of. Her. Never. Never. No, motherfucker, no. Why don't you do it, Jerry? I'm not her father. That's even better. Come on, Rick. Jerry, you're going to get your dick and stick her. If you haven't already done so. Come on, don't start acting so pious with me. Get that old Italian sausage and put it to work, you sucker. Come on, get that sausage look, going. Look, get I it. Sausager! 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 <laughs> I admit, when I see a cute 24-year-old, I admit, I get horny, I get horny, I admit that, and I'm ready for action. I admit that. Well, give her your old sausage, like I just said! Come on! <laughs> Come on! <laughs> you're, making, you're making me laugh here, yeah. Ricky. <laughs> You're like making... we used to laugh. You remember, <laughs> you remember, Jerry, when we did my cable show, you used to come every Saturday morning straight from the hospital in your scrubs, and we did two or three shows. We'd air them. We'd have a great fucking time, you know? It was fun. I know. That, that was a lot of fun. We didn't make any money, but it was a lot of fun. Yes, it was, Ricky. Let me ask you a question. What happened? Simply... Life happened, Jerry. And I hope you still are my friend. Yes, Ricky. Of course I'm your then friend. Then tell the girl to go home. To cease and desist and get her raggedy ass back to fucking blue-ass state, Kentucky! I can't do that. She's already gone through enough emotional pain. Pain, Spain. You know, you're pretty damn lame, Jerry. Coming from a guy who deserted his own daughter... Well, I sure as hell she's my only daughter, you know, because I was spreading my seed all over the place back in the 80s and 90s, buddy. With no protection. With no protection, my friend. It was fucking bareback city. <sighs> you didn't even know enough to use protection. Hey, Man. Listen, instead of judging me, why don't you take care of your own business? You know, it looks like you could lose a few pounds. Go on, go on a diet. Lose some weight for starters, huh? Well, first of all, we're not even here to discuss that, but I'm trying to lose weight. It's not easy. I'm trying. Go on what I call as a fuck diet. Jerry, fuck your brains out two, three, four times a day. You won't be thinking about eating or drinking. Before you know it, you'll lose 20, 30 pounds just like that. And you know something? I've done it several times in my lifetime. It works. But it works? It, it, <laughs> it really sure works? Has, yeah, it does, you dog dick. So listen, just, just go home and, and leave me the fuck alone and get to it, huh? So what you're saying is you don't want to see your daughter. That's what you're saying to me. Didn't you just fucking hear me? That must be another fucking problem you have is hard of hearing along with your fucking obesity. You know something, Ricky? This is hard for me to say, but almost not really. You're not a very nice person, you know that? Very good deduction, you fuck. Now, will you go, and I don't ever want to fucking hear about this shit again. Is that what you want, Ricky? You want me to leave? Do you really? <sighs> fuck. Just go, will you? Just get the fuck out of here, motherfucker. Ricky, please don't call me that. Please don't say, don't say motherfucker to me. My mother, God rest her soul. I miss her so much. I mean, I wouldn't ever say something like that to you. Would you like it if I called you a motherfucker or called your mother a motherfucker? Don't get out of here! I will leave. But let me say this to you, okay? Let me say this to you. You will regret these words very, very much. And, 
and you're in denial. Uh, uh.